Pretty well. <coughs> Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very good. Day. How are you? Good to see you. Hello. Perfect. Good. Fine. Okay. Oh, that's thank you for coming this afternoon. Start off very quickly, I'd just like to introduce the head table to you. By the windows, Kay Granger, Mayor of Fort Worth. Tibor Rudis of Rudis Theatrical Organization. Luciano Paparotti, <laughs> Herbert Breslin, and Herbert H. Breslin, Inc. And the Executive Director of the Fort Worth Symphony, Ann Koonsman. To start off today, I know the Mayor has a special presentation she would like to make to Mr. Paparotti. I'll accept it. <laughs> this is my opportunity. <laughs> I'm here to greet you. I'm the mayor of the city of Fort Worth, and on behalf of the, of the city, Lucky I want to city. tell you how pleased we are that you're here. Gracias. Very excited about this. In fact, we're so excited that we've named this Paparazzi Day in the Ooh. city of Fort Worth, and I brought your proclamation. Oh, and we've named it Luciano Paparazzi Day yeah. in the city of Fort Worth. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to give you a key to the city. Very good. Yes. You know, see. <laughs> and then I'd like to also tell you about an event. Uh, our sister city is Reggio Emilia, Italy, and I know you're very familiar with Reggio Emilia, Italy. I sang for the first time there. Right. And we're wow. having an event tonight, Pavarotti and Pasta from our sister cities. Wow. <laughs> so I brought you one of the posters to see. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> So we're celebrating, and they're also celebrating all across to uh, bravo, bravo. In recognition. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Very and I'd pleasure. also like to introduce Mr. Lewis Lusky now, who has a presentation also to make. Grazie mille, signora. Mm -hmm. I think I'll get something from under the table. <laughs> Oh my God! We just took oh. a gift. <laughs> you did a gift from a photograph of what head size he might wear. We, we did bring another. Head Very head large. <laughs> oh wow, well, that's great. That gift is big enough. Let me see where you put the. Oh, on the left. On the left. I think it's big enough here. Yeah. Oh. Very oh. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Thank you very much. I certainly will. Perfect. I understand that you like fruit, and Mr. Don Oatman is here from Benny Keith to make a presentation. Mr. Oatman? With the fruit, we're giving you some Texas and some Fort Worth, Texas yes. cuisine here. Thank you. Anything you can't eat tonight, we'll be happy to ship to Italy. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, sir. Very good. <laughs> unlocks our hearts and enables us to receive a powerful message of music. We can't tell you how, how thrilled we are to have you for Symphony Orchestra to present you to our valued audiences. And just as we commemorate the fact the great Enrique Caruso was here in 1904, we'll always, always, always take great pride and have deep, deep gratitude that we had. We also have our hearts. And at this time, the president of our board, Gene Roach, with, with the idea that you will from time to time look at this and remember us and the deep friendship. Gracias, Senora. So My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. It's a great pleasure for me. You cannot move very much because they don't want them in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone has any questions for anyone, have you been a cowboy, Italian cowboy in Texas before? When I sang for the first time in, in uh, 
New York in 1968. Uh, the tenor was singing Traviata here. He felt sick. So they asked me to come to substitute the tenor. I say, well, I'm just doing my debut at the Met. I don't want to be distracted from something like that. I say, but they will give you the fee of the tenor. The fee of the tenor was 10 times my fee. <laughs> 10 times at that time. So I say, well, let me go to Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go there. And fortunately, I fell sick myself. And I was unable to come, but in my mind, it was always the dream to come there. At that time, <clears throat> for money than I need, this time, for something than I need, to know you, to all, all the audience here. And here we are this time, to try to do the best of we can. You already gave me so many gifts. I think this is fitting me perfect. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I am not used to talk. I am very, very much used to answer to questions. Can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be doing? I'm sorry, I don't know what you'll be doing tomorrow night. Can you talk about your performance tomorrow night? There's a program there where you can see, every, all, all of you can see the program. It's one of my concerts with Aria, Italian song, and in the encore, Neapolitan song. The reason was that I was sick. I was unable to speak. And I'm coming out now, little by little, from this kind of tracheitis. And uh, we postponed Berlin. Berlin. We postponed, and we have already done Istanbul three days ago. And here we are now to finish the tour with the last three concerts. Tracheitis. <laughs> well, it can be an infection, tracheitis. It's certainly an infection. How you take it, nobody knows. Other way, we will not go there to take it. Generally, is the difference of the between hot and, and cold all suddenly. Generally, is what you. And you begin to talk like that, you go less and less and less. Well, are you feeling better? I, uh, I, will, I am here. <laughs> I feel better, yes. First, thank you and bravo for the Otello. Do we see it on the stage? That I don't know. It's magnificent. I don't know because precisely now, beside the three concerts that they are in my mind, uh, in, with, with which I will finish my uh, season this year, I have a, a lot of sea and sky blue and me staying under the sun for 10 hours a day and nothing else. Uh, to, have a, to answer to a, a question like yours, I need to be involved during the season when I am, when I am running. At the moment being, I am slowly down and I go on holiday. And then at the beginning of the holiday, I mean at the end of the holiday in September when I begin to, to sing again, then, then can be then if you make this question, I can give you an answer. I would like to say that the answer is no. <laughs> Anyhow, but you never know. I'm so crazy. I am totally crazy. Don't you see me? <laughs> you should have been asked to do it on stage. Many time and many years ago even. And I thought it was time to do when we have done with Sholti, because we have done a good job. It's there on record, and it's a brilliant record. But on the stage is a little different, more demanding. You have to make me question. Yes, don't tell, don't tell, give me a subject because I don't answer for okay. subject. Why do you do these concerts for so many people? What is it you're trying to accomplish? Well, 
We are talking about how many people here? 14,000. 14,000 people will never have the opportunity to come here to sing in a different way. That is the answer. What? I will not have any other way to come here to sing for 14,000 people if it's not in this way. Because to sing for 14,000 people, you have to stay here a month to make five performances, or six, or 10. So it's impossible. How did you choose what you will sing here? The concert is some, um, uh, when I go in one place, I always do the basic concert that we do for the first time in one place. And it is the case. Uh, is a concert is working very well. We have begun to, to do this concert uh, some years ago. Uh, we change here and there, uh, but we will change definitely when we come back here. If you want us to come back again, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a question or are you saying one thing? The question is, will you be saying no. no, no, no. No, with Placido and, and Cosé, we will do something uh, at the beginning in, in 1994, or three or four, four, I think. In Japan, yes, it's an opera. It's three acts of different opera. Then we all switch in a different three nights. That we will do in Tokyo. But not now. Now, I, like I say before, July and August for me is going to be a beautiful holiday. I go to the Olympic, I probably go to the Olympic the last day because I like very much horse, show horse jumping. Equestrian. Equestrian. Uh, so you're going to Barcelona? I go to Barcelona. Civil, I was in Seville two years ago, but we did not participate to the uh, to the Expo. Mr. Pavarotti has his own equestrian event in September in his hometown, Modena. Magnificent facility, magnificent place. And it is the second year now, it is the Pavarotti International. Very good public. Good publicity. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's good horses here? Jumpers? Show jumper? No, oh, it's more Western. Well, that I know. Cutting horses mainly. I'm not an expert. I like it when I see on the television. I never turn the television in another channel because I think it's very good. I did have myself an horse, then it was a quarter horse. Then generally it's good for your. Uh, instead, he was a fantastic jumper. Very generous, very strong. Very young, and uh, and uh, was very touched to this to this horse. I'm not an expert, I think, to to talk about uh, rodeo. <laughs> it, well, it's exactly like you have to talk about American football. For me, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, you become nut. And for me, okay, yes, good lunch of uh, one end of meat and the other. Uh, catch it instead of not, but the real idea, I don't. I am a fanatic of soccer, and you do not understand. <laughs> because you don't play, because you don't play when you are a kid. Instead, when we are a kid, we begin to play soccer. I mean, the first gift that they give us when we walk is a ball. So we begin to play. So Rodeo is, in comparison, uh, like that. Uh, yes, it's horses there, I like it but I don't understand. Instead, I am pretty deep involved in uh, jumping competition. And uh, like my manager friend says, in Modena, in September, we have XU with international jumping competition in the name of the Republic of San Marino, 
who was last year for the first time, and this year is from the 24th to the 27th. And I will invite you, all of you, and if some of you has a lot of money and want to be a sponsor, welcome. <laughs> Well, I think, but that's, this song is is already part of uh, uh, the history of the melodrama in the in in the last uh, 100 years. But particularly lately, since I begin to do this, all these things in the in the are, are the word of the men who is saying doesn't matter how difficult is life. In fact, he's close to die. You have an alternative. Die or win. One of the two. Oh. <laughs> or we will win. And it becomes... I wake up with the idea that I win. I'm made like that. No more questions? Do you sign autographs? Who? Do you sign autographs? I'm able, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good. Which pasta is going to be? Oh. Yes. Per che no? Sure. I do not know when. Thank you, sir. One more has it. <laughs> so just do one more, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> Thank you. I want to know where you got the shirt. <coughs> Is it Italian? Don't. Would you uh, uh, agree to it? Thank you. To what? To go home, sit down for a while. To do what?